happened. Now to a story that's being passed around Wall Street this week. SEC Commissioner Robert Jackson penned an editorial in the New York Times saying that index funds may not be as neutral or transparent as they seem. Huh. Jackson called for greater regulatory scrutiny of firms like Standard & Poor's and MSCI who devise indexes. Todd used to work at Standard & Poor's. What do you make of this editorial? So for full disclosure, my business got sold to CFRA two and a half years ago, have not worked there, was never part of the index side of the business. Right. But it's hard to believe that index funds are not transparent. They publish the rule book, they publish the holdings on a daily basis, Investors can know what's inside them. The SEC can know what's inside them. All they have to do is look at our research or other research that's out there. Yeah. We do think that they're worried about more things than, than perhaps warranted, but these custom index-based products are perhaps where they're ultimately going to go, have more scrutiny than, than something that's known tied to the S&P yeah. 500 I, Kim, index. I agree with, with, with Todd. I mean, the, the committee that sits on the S&P 500 is very transparent in what goes in. The Russell 1,000, 2,000, that's mechanical. There's not even any question. Most of the major indices, it's very transparent what's going on. Am I missing something? With what? Why are they, of all the things to be concerned about, this seems like a fairly low down on the list for the SEC, in my opinion, but yeah. maybe I'm missing something. No, I think extremely low down. And I think the one thing uh, you had mentioned that they brought up in the article about China maybe putting MSCI in a headlock. Uh. It's like, let's think about that for a minute. China is 40 plus percent of the emerging, emerging market GDP, but it's only 30 plus percent of the weighting, where if you have Korea, Korea is a five and a half percent of the GDP, but it's two and a half times that in the yeah. weighting, so. But let me, just for those who don't know about the allegations in the article, there was a slightly disturbing allegation that MSCI might have been strong-armed by China to increase the, the weighting of China in the global indexes. That would be disturbing if that happened. But as you point out, China's 40% of the world GDP, it's perfectly acceptable. In fact, it's correct for the right. weighting to increase in the index. So right. I don't see anything untoward and there. MS and MSCI that, that this is referred to is not the only index provider offering emerging market exposure. So Vanguard yep. works with FTSE Russell, China, A shares is part of it. We really think investors can do their homework and know what's inside their ETFs. So maybe there's something, I'm, maybe there is something, but how about these smaller indexes, the customized indexes, the uh, factor indexes, where that are a little harder to figure out? Is there anything that might be concerning here? I'm trying to look at Commissioner Jackson's side of this st story a bit. Is there something else that they we should so be most about. of the money are, is in ETFs tied to the S&P 500, the Russell 1000, market cap weighted, yeah. widely followed indices. But most of the ETFs are actually tracking an index people probably never heard of, either from a subset of those parent companies yeah. or Selective is an example of it. There's a number of smaller index providers yeah. or proprietary index products uh, offered by J.P. Morgan, offered by State Street, among others. That Should they be probably, more transparent? Is there some? I, I don't. Th those are so small. I don't see the possibility that they are somehow a systemic risk to the market or going to blow something up. But maybe I'm wrong. Well, they are transparent. They disclose the holdings. They disclose the rule book yeah, every today. Day, right? Yeah. Uh, you know, when you buy ETFs, you yeah. know what's inside it. When we analyze ETFs, yeah. we know what's inside it. And Bob, they also look like too. It's it's not a lot different than Fidelity that has creates a wrapper for a mutual fund and then does their own strategy under the cover. So the article was talking about this is bad. People can go out and have the same index person who pays for it also run it. That's no different than, yeah. than an active manager. But I think just index does not equal passive. Yeah, I think uh, there's much ado about nothing going on on, on that particular topic.